Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland, and this is Art Me Bore You to Sleep. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, only listen. Only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Copy code. I'm going to try. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Okay. There's no one watching at the moment, which is fine. Um, I'm filming myself doing a podcast, but I'm going to give all my attention to myself. Oh, I've got an itchy eye. Oh no, I end up with a red eye, but it feels so good. Custom HTML, okay. Custom HTML. Add custom HTML. Save. Changes saved. Oh. Well, that's no good. Oh, if you're interested what I'm doing, hello. Hello. I'm trying to embed. iframe. Oh, it's the iframe, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Trying to embed the Facebook stream onto my website, but it don't seem to be working. No, it don't. For some reason. So I don't know if anyone's actually listening. It's been a weird day for some reason. The the Webster the podcast thing. No, no, don't make a really scrunchy face. The podcast thing. It's stopped at 7,567 downloads and it's been like that for hours and hours and hours and hours so unless people have just stopped listening mm. unless people have just stopped listening altogether I don't know what's going on. It's very weird. Copy link. Move to archive. Embed. So I've done the embed. Advanced settings. Oh, okay. Embed. Choose the other page. Oh. Video container. Can I go in? Get full code example settings. It's not working. It's not working. Hello, Jade. 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 Oh. Let's go private. Let's just talk privately. Forget everyone else. Judy, hi Judy. Judy. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. But I really should focus on what I'm actually doing. But me, 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 me. 
um, add a section on my stomach. Featured slideshow, image of text, featured caravan. No, it's not working. Custom HTML. So, okay, where is it? Where is it? Custom HTML. So I'm just going to try and paste it one more time. And save. Nope. Nothing. Talk about your brand. Custom HTML. Talk about your brand. What brand? I haven't got any brand. Stop talking about brand. I ain't got no brand. Oh, it's working. It's working. Baby, baby, baby. It's actually working. It's on my website. Sorry, hi Jay. I'm not ignoring people. I'm just excited because suddenly, suddenly, life has new meaning to me. There's the beauty up above, the things you never take notice of. Wake up suddenly. You're in love. Yeah. Sorry about that. I apologise profusely. Profusely. So what I need to do now is figure a way to move this. Oh, I know. I'm going to move it right to the top. it right to the top. I am. It won't go. It won't move to the top, man. Why? Why to move to the top? Image. I don't understand. Why is, why is it going to be like that? So basically, the video is right at the bottom of the page. What's the point in that? No one's going to know it's there. A lot of pictures of my feet at the bottom of the page. No one's ever noticed. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. I don't know. This is weird. Weird, man. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> right. Remove block. Custom HTML. Okay, so if I go backwards, get rid of that one. Custom HTML. Remove block. Custom HTML. Latest recordings. That's reached the customer. So I might as well just get rid of that. Remove block. Anything that's remove block, anything that's not being watched, remove block. <gasps> oh, but that, oh, but that. Be -be -do -be -do. Uh, Fran, hi Fran. Hey Fran. My mum's name was Fran. Are you my mum? <laughs> Are you my mummy? Right, okay, let's see if I can move this blimmin' thing. For some reason, it just ain't doing it. And I don't get it, I don't understand. I don't want it there, I want it moved. I want it right at the top. got to be an easier way of doing this. There has to be. There just has to be. Let me just check the recording still going. 
well on my Facebook page or on my website jasonnewland.com if you go all the way down to the bottom of the page you can watch me live doing a stream the thing is what's the point in doing that if you're watching it on Facebook but mm, you know it's it's perhaps handy or maybe not I don't know I don't know well it sounds like no I'm not going to do that there's got to be a way of me moving it to the top but maybe that's a different day you know maybe that's something I need to do at a different time not whence I'm actually recording I don't know let me see fear will last forever so I wonder alignment top I should be able to move it I really should be able to move it I don't know why I'm unable to uh, I'll keep trying keep trying Keep trying, knowing you can always count on me, for sure, that's what friends are for. Stevie one down. Have a good time, for bad times, I'll be on your mind forevermore. That's what friends are for. <laughs> uh, my neighbour's gonna love hearing me singing at this time of the morning. Yeah, shut up, you. That's what I'm gonna hear. That's all I'm gonna hear. Yes. I wonder. even that there's something wrong here something wrong and I don't know what ah oh. uh, yeah I found out how to do it I found out how to do it wow right live Seven hundred and twenty seven. Save. Wow. Okay, I'm going to ignore that now. Just check it out to see if it works. Go on. Just for some fun. Just for fun. Check it out. Because if it does work, what I might do. What I might do is. start streaming on my website there Facebook which means I don't know what it means does it mean anything it means something it, it meant something when I said it I'm not really sure and it's sure but anyway I'm going to ignore all that now yep Still no change in the uh, the stats. 
And that might seem, might seem like I'm obsessed with stats. Let me see the microphone a bit closer. I just want to make sure that you can hear me. It might seem that I'm obsessed with stats, but it's, I am. But apart from that, it's just, it's been at seven and a half thousand for about four or five hours, which is really weird. I mean, even on the worst day ever, I would get, you know, at least three people listening during that time and nothing. Not a penny, not a pip, not a twinkle, nothing at all. I don't understand. I'm very confused. Yes, I am. I am, I am. I need to share. Let's, uh, who do I need to share this with? Share. Share to a, share. Share and messenger. Share and messenger. That's it. <gasps> there you go. There you go. I'm just going to send it to Rachel because Rachel did ask me if I was going to go live today. Yeah. Live. Live. Something about being live. Debbie says, oh, don't want more someone talking to me. Jade says, sing again. Jade, you are the sunshine in my life. I'd like to see some more pictures. <laughs> um, Debbie says, yay, works on your website. Slight few seconds delay than Facebook. Yeah, I noticed that, actually. Um... It's almost like being able to see into the future. I quite like that. It's, uh, but you wouldn't notice it. Uh, like if someone was just watching it on the on the website, they wouldn't know, would they? I guess. Um, you know, sometimes like that, I listen to. I probably listen to more radio than I do actually watching telly. And I like to listen to talk radio because it's conversational and hearing people's opinions on topical matters and I don't know I just find it more interesting than just seeing some scripted thing I like I guess I quite like the free form of it and I when I listen to it on the radio like I listen I usually have it on the telly to be fair so I listen to it on the, on the telly and um, Jade is giving me compliments. Such a pretty willy. I mean, eyes. Thank you. Thanks, Jade. Oh. <laughs> Fluttering my eyelids. I've got to be careful. I might fall asleep. Thank you. I got a lovely. My left eye is very lovely. I used to have a lazy eye. I might still have a lazy eye. I don't know. I've got a lazy leg. I know that. Um. Yeah. Anyway. So I listen to the radio on the television, which is like it's your radio, and then I listen to it on the internet on the app. And it's like there's a there's a lag behind. That was really boring, wasn't it? That was kind of a pointless pointless story. But they, I could actually rename this podcast "Pointless Stories," I guess. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose. I guess so. I've got another song. This is for Jade. Good morning. Please release me. Let me go. <laughs> I have a drink, 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 a drink. Well, 
was funny is um, I'm going to the doctors in a couple of days for that to have a diabetic test. So I'm trying to get as much coke in as I can. I'm just like chocolate, coke, sweets, bags of sugar. It's pouring about the sugar in my mouth. Yep. Apparently, um, yeah. It's breast milk. Is breast milk high in sugar content? I don't know. I'm just asking. I don't know. I don't, no reason. I'm just saying. I mean, there's there's a short a short window. I'm what I'm saying. There's a, if I'm diabetic, I'm going to have to be really careful. Jade says, I, I, know, I've, I know how Jade speaks, so I'll do her voice. Jade says, Oh, I was a bad girl. I shipped an adult to drink. That's how she sounds, honestly. That's how she sounds. Get your pants off. Ooh. <laughs> I want to go on the seashore. That's weird. Don't know why I'm saying this stuff. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the stats. It's starting to bug me. It's bugging me. <laughs> Jade, I know you don't sound like that. You have a lovely voice. A wonderful vaginal, not vaginal, angelic, very angelic voice. Like an angel, an angle. Like a butterfly climbing up my leg. It's, yeah. I... Still tidying up. Oh, my back, my lower back was hurting today. Now, I don't know how much of that is because of the, all the bending over I've been doing. I've been picking stuff up off the floor, moving stuff around, lifting things. You're angular, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've been hurting me back, I don't hurt me back, but I think I've been overdoing it a little bit but I'm trying to get this place nice and tidy and this morning I had to go well this afternoon I had to go and collect something from the pharmacy Yannicka hey Yannicka uh, I see you do much better than previous years. Happy for you. Keep reaching for the stars. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> what do you mean better than previous years? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, do you mean that I'm... I used to be too skinny, didn't I? I filled out. Is that what you mean? I just look... You know... I am a walrus... I am a walrus. I am a walrus. I forget them. There was more words to that Beatles song, wasn't there? I know the Beatles, you know, I mean, not arguably, but are the most successful band of all time. However, and I know, you know, geniuses and all that. However, <laughs> the songs are great. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of the songs, not all the songs, but the lyrics. Um, I don't know. The lyrics. You know what I mean? Not all the lyrics were splendid. So let's have a look at the I Am A Walrus lyrics, okay? Here we go. 
You ready? I am he, as you are he, as you are me. And we are all together. See, that is lovely. That's like very Buddhist, very, you know, we're all connected by energy. We're not separate. We are connected. We're all connected. So those two, first two lines, great. You know, really, I can really get into it. I'm not saying great, like, well, I'm sure the beat was, Paul McCartney really wants to hear your critique. Okay, I know that, but just, you know, just for fun. Next line. See how they run like pigs from a gun. See how they fly. See how they fly. I'm crying. Well, that could be quite deep as well, actually. See how they run like pigs from a gun. Okay. Hmm. So the next line. Sitting on a cornflake. Really? Sitting on a cornflake. Waiting for the van to come. How do you sit on a cornflake? I mean, you can sit on corn, a cornflake, you know, put it on a chair and you sit on it. Why would you? Sitting on a cornflake, waiting for the van to come. What van? Corporation T-shirt. Stupid bloody Tuesday. Now, he put that in because he wanted to swear, didn't he? The 60s. We weren't allowed to say naughty words back then. He got tooled off. Man, you've been a naughty boy. You let your face grow long. So, I'm getting a sense of... Um, Getting your, you're letting your face grow long, what? A beard? Is that, is that a beard? Is that what they mean by face grow long? If it is, then it's actually really good poetry, isn't it? I should really make fun of it. And so bits like that, and I think, yeah, okay. I get that. You're letting your face grow long. People didn't used to like, Jade says acid, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but, you know, in the, in the 60s, people have grew their hair long and their, their beards long. You know, were kind of outcasts a little bit. Let's see, here we go. I am the Eggman. The Eggman. I mean, I know eggs are, pop, pos, you know, they're popular. Poth, poth, popular. But, I don't know, could you earn a living selling eggs? I don't know. Unless he actually meant, I am Humpty Dumpty. Maybe that's what he was saying. I am the egg man. They are the egg men. I am the walrus. Make your mind up, mate. You can't be an egg man and a walrus. It's two different things. Completely different things. That's a that's a different job altogether, isn't it? And the next bit. Goo goo gajoob. It says there. Uh, goo goo gajoob. Goo. I'm sure it's goo goo ga choo, but here it's got goo goo ga jube. But I'm pretty sure it's cuckoo ga choo in the actual song. In the jade that's watching says that as well. What's the next bit? Mr. City Policeman sitting.
pretty little Mr. City policeman sitting. Pretty little policeman in a row. See how they fly like Lucy in the sky. An advert for another song. Mm, bit commercial that, isn't it? Advertising. See how they run. Because I want to hold your hand. Hold your hand. Because she loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade is making fun of my face. Stop it. Yellow mat Yellow matter custard. Dripping from a dead dog's eye. Yellow matter custard. She's gone from talking about policemen in a row. Flying in the sky. So is that like our oh, arm pigs will fly? Is that old saying, isn't it? Yeah, and the pigs will fly. So like it's sort of saying to someone, oh, I don't believe you. The sign said, Oh, I'm gonna be an astronaut when I'm older. Well you're ninety-three now, mate. Probably not gonna happen. You know, pigs will fly. Now I'll see pigs fly before that happens. So maybe that's what he's talking about. He's being rude to the police or to the pigs, which is why you're looking at. <clears throat> okay, yellow meta custard. Again, I think they've spelled that wrong. Dripping from a dead, dead dog's eye. That's just grim. That's not friendly. It's not. It's not family friendly lyrics, is it? Crabba locker fish wife. Crabba locker fish wife. Pornographic priestess. Boy, you've been a naughty girl. You let your knickers down. I am the egg man. They are the Eggman. I'm the walrus. Kukukachu. Not really sure which direction it's going, if I'm honest. You know what I mean? I'm sitting in an English garden, waiting for the sun. What is he talking about? The newspaper? Or the one in the sky? If the sun don't come, you get a tan. From if anyone is from other countries, this is a lie, okay? If the sun don't come, you get a tan from standing in the English rain. No, you don't. You get wet. You get a tan. Mm. I'm the Eggman. Now, good sir, in brackets. They are the Eggmen. In brackets again, a poor man made tame to fortune's blows. I am the walrus. Goo 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 Good pity, in brackets. Wow, this is a long song. Expert textbird choking smokers. Don't you think the joker laughs at you? Ho, ho, ho. He, he, he. Ha, ha, ha. I do actually like that part of the song. I like the, um, 
I do that. I like that part because it's it's quite a sort of special effect. See, um, see how they smile. Like <laughs> it's got a thing about a place. Um, see how they smile like pigs in a sty. And pigs as well. See how they smile like pigs in a sty. See how they snide. I'm crying. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? I really uh, I've ne never took notice of the lyrics before. Right, you ready? Semolina Pilchard. Climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Elementary Penguin singing Harry Krishna. Man, you should have seen them kicking Edgar Allan Poe. I am the Eggman. They are the Eggman. No, I'm the walrus. Goo goo tube. Goo 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 tube. Goo 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 tube. Goo 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 tube. Goo ju jube jube juba 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 jube juba jube juba. Yeah, I can see. I mean, you know, imagine if this this was in a time capsule, no music, no record of the Beatles ever being around, but just, you know, uh, maybe a magazine that says the Beatles, the greatest, you know, um, but the only, <laughs> the only song lyrics was this, I am a walrus, was the only one. And people are reading it, and so I was reading it, thinking, okay, let's find out what they did. Okay. Umpa, umpa, stick it up your jumper. Juba. <laughs> juba, juba. Umpa, umpa, stick it up your jumper. Everybody's got one. Umpa, umpa. Everybody's got one. Stick it up your jumper. Everybody's got one. Umpa. Umpa, everybody's got one. Stick it up your jumper. Every seriously. Umpa, um. Jade says it's start a religion. I can't imagine. That's what we need in the world more. <laughs> Another religion. Everybody's got one. Stick it up your jumper. Everybody's got one. Umpa, umpa. Everybody's got one. Stick it up your jumper. Everybody's got one. Umpa, umpa. Everybody's got one. Stick it up your jumper. Every. This is. The, I'm just reading it. Umpa, umpa. Everybody's got one. Umpa, umpa. Stick it up your jumper. If everybody's got one. Umpa, umpa. Everybody's got one. Stick it up your jumper. Everybody's got one, umpa, umpa. Right, the next bit. Slave, thou hast slain me. Villain, take my purse. If I ever bury my body, the letters which thou findest about me to Edmund, Earl of Gloucester, Seek him out upon the British party. O oh, untimely death. Hmm, don't like that bit. I know thee well, a serviceable villain, as duteous to the vices of thy mistress as badness would desire. What? Is he dead? Sit you down, father, rest you. Blimey, what a chore, that was a chore, reading it out was a proper chore, why did I bother, why, I, mean, 
I know it's it's poetry. You know, let's, let's be honest. That's what it is. It's poetry. So I'm not making fun of it. I'm not making fun of it, but blimey, that's a big old thing. Um. Okay. One of my favourites, um, my favourite songs of the Beatles, and this is sung by Paul McCartney. But it's not one of their big hits. Okay, it's uh, Maxwell's Silver Hammer. Um, I feel like I want to sing it. I'll do it. I'll do it quietly. John was quizzical, studied metaphysical science in the home. Late nights all alone with a test tube, oh, 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 oh. Maxwell Edison, major in the medicine, calls her on the phone. Can I take you out to the pictures, Joe? Uh -oh, um. But as she gets ready to go, a knock comes on the door. Here we go. Bang, bang, Maxwell's silver hammer came down upon her head. <laughs> clang, clang, Maxwell's silver hammer made sure that she was dead. <laughs> oh, man. I remember the first time I heard that and I thought, this isn't the Beatles, what the hell? Because I grew up with the Beatles and it was all like, she loves you, yeah, 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 you know. And then as they progressed, um, sitting in a, you know, and um, I didn't know about these songs, I never heard them before. Back in school again, Maxwell plays the fool again, teacher gets annoyed. Wishing to avoid an unpleasant scene. She tells Max to stay when the class has gone away, so he waits behind. Writing fifty times, I might not, I must not be so ho ho ho. But when she turns her back on the boy, he creeps up from behind. Bang bang, Maxwell's silver hammer came down upon her head. Ooh, ooh. Clang, clang, Maxwell's silver hammer made sure that she was dead. I'm like, it's, it's a serial killer. It's a, it's a serial killer. And it's this horrible song. It's a horrible song. Um, I wondered... One of my favourite songs, which was the best, my favourite for lyrics? Let me have a look. I saw a stand in there, Miss Anika, Chains Boys, Ask You Why, Please, Please, Love You, PSLO. It's the human most successful, it's just a shout. Oh, don't bother me, little child, till I was Mr. Rollo, Paul Tiger. You got a hold on me, tell me how I'm not sick of money, I swear. I should have known if I fell. If I fell in love with... Is that one? If I fell in love with you... I don't know. What's that the one? No reply. I'm a loser. Is that the one? Nope. That's a good song. That's not the one. I act naturally. It's only love. This is what I think, Nowhere Man. Is it Nowhere Man or The Fool on the Hill? It might be. There's Nowhere Man, Fool on the Hill and Blackbird. 
fool on the hill. Blimey, album. They did quite a few albums, didn't they? Fool on the hill. See, I like this, the fool on the hill, because of the lyrics. Um, hi Boston, sorry, I'm, I'm not meaning to ignore people that are watching the video. I'm just uh, playing around with some Beatles. It's a fool on the hill. So, was it? Day after day, alone on a hill, the man with the foolish grin is keeping perfectly still. Nobody wants to know him. You can see that he's just a fool. And he never gives an answer but the fool on the hill. Sees the sun going down and the eyes in his head. Sees the world spinning round. <laughs> I used to love singing that at karaoke when I was in my twenties. And it was almost like I was asking for help. <laughs> I was I was asking, you know, I'd stand on stage, no one was listening, and I'd be doing this uh, fool on the hill, because I guess I always kind of felt I was that fool. But what it says, but the fool on the hill sees the sun going down and the eyes in his head see the world spinning around. Yeah. Nobody seems to like him. They can tell what he wants. They can tell what he wants to do and he even never shows his feelings. He never listens to them. He knows that they're the fools. They don't like him. I'm not saying that I thought that about myself, but I did kind of. <sighs> Hi, Marion. Marion's watching. If it, uh and the bird can sing. She's a woman, a day in her life. Lucy, without you. Hello, goodbye. Across the universe is a good one, isn't it? Was it words are flowing out like endless rain in a paper Well, words are flowing out like endless rain in a paper cup or paper cup. I think John Lennon used to like to say cup. They sliver while they pass, they slip or cross, they slip away across the universe. Pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind, possessing and caressing me. Jai Guru Deva Om. Nothing's gonna change my world. Nothing's gonna change my world. Wow. Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup. They sliver while they pass, they slip away across the universe. Pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind, possessing and caressing me. Jai Guru Deva. Nothing's going to change my world. No. Nothing's going to change my world. I realise I think I might be losing my mind. Sorry about that. Take a sad song, I'll make it better. So which 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 word which album, what song is that? Make a sad song. Or was that the actual song? I'm down. 
What's that one? You tell, you telling lies thinking I can't see. You don't cry because you're laughing at me. I'm down. We, I'm down, down on the ground, I'm down. How can you laugh when you know I'm down? How can you laugh? Man buys a ring, woman throws it away. Same old thing happens every day. I'm down. I like that song actually. We're all alone and there's nobody else. You still moan, keep your hands to yourself. I'm down. Oh baby, I'm down, blimey. How can you laugh when you know I'm down? That's a really good song, actually. I love that song. So Jack, remember to let her into your heart, then you can start to make it better. Yeah. Remember to let her into your heart, then she's make it. Oh yeah, that's it. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. Is that the one? <coughs> By the way, for those, uh, if there's anyone, is there anybody there? If anybody uh, watching, listening, you can watch on my website. Live. No, Jason Newland, that's not it. <laughs> Thanks for the full name there, I'm listening. Don't be afraid, you're made to go and get her. Hey, Jude. You know what? When I was about... Probably about nine. Probably about nine years old. I um, didn't had an audition for the choir at school. I wanted to join the choir, which is why I auditioned. I guess I wouldn't have auditioned if I didn't want to join, but I wanted to join. And I remember walking up to the lady who was the teacher, but she was on her own, and there was a piano. In the school, as you walked in, there was like this whole area uh, where you'd have assembly. But there was also a piano there. And there was other things, activities. And then there was various classrooms and there was a big old field behind. It's a good school, good school. Um, I would, to be fair, to be fair, I went to, I think, three junior schools that I remember. And they were all good. Really, they were all good. I mean, you just play, I just, it was just playing. You know, learning to read and write and stuff like that. And I, I loved reading, and I liked right. Yeah, I did. I love reading and writing. Actually, I suppose I kind of wanted to be a writer. <laughs> I did. I wanted to be a writer. Laughable, but it's true. I did. Uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to write a book. I wanted to be a book. To be fair, oi, don't mock me, Jade. Jady, JJ, don't mock me. Do you dare mock me for my words? Um, what was I saying? I was saying something. Don't mock me, Jade. <laughs> Stop it, Boston. Stop being picked on. Uh, oh, I was talking about, oh yeah. So I walked up to this lady, I think it was during the break, and she was the, she was a music teacher, which is handy because she, she taught music. I mean, she could play music. And I said to her, oi, oi, uh, I said to her, I'd like to become part of the choir, please, madam. And she said, ah. Oh. And I said, she said, uh, well, you will need to audition, young man. Uh, okay. And she 
said, what, what kind of songs do you know? And I said, mm, I don't know. And I thought, well, the only songs I really knew off by heart, or at least I knew the lyrics, but I kind of knew, would be Beatles songs because my dad was a big Beatles fan. And whenever we went out or on day trips or on holiday, he'd be playing Beatles songs on a, you know, to see it on a tape deck recorder thing. So I knew Michelle. When she was my sister, I guess I, I knew her quite well, and she quite liked listening to the Beatles. But I knew the song Michelle. Um, what was the other one? Yesterday, I think, perhaps yesterday, and Michelle. So I sang it. I said, "Oh yeah, I can do Michelle." I said, "I said I know Michelle." She said, "We all know Michelle. I mean, she's a top athlete in town, isn't she? I mean, got loads of medals." I said, "No, I do the song." She said, oh, okay. Very con Always got confusing. And she said, uh, I'll, um, I said, okay. And I sang it to her. I said, yeah. Michelle Mobile. Oh, oh, oh. And what's the other one? Hey Jude. I thought, yeah, I think Michelle and Hey Jude. Um, apart from the French bit. Even now, I still can't. I don't I can't I don't know I don't know French I don't but like I so, said oh you should know French well I don't know I don't know Swahili I don't know uh, Belgium I don't know uh, Mexican I don't know um, Canadian uh, uh, Australian I don't know any of those languages all I know is the language that I was, you know, taught to talk. Well, actually, I probably wasn't. I just picked it up along the way. As you do. I don't think I, yeah, I'm not sure if I actually ever learnt anything. I might have done. I'm not sure. Hard to tell. <gasps> Does that count? I know all the swears in Italian. Do you? Boston says. Does that count? That very much does count. In fact, I'm giving you 9 out of 10. Well done. You're a very good boy. A very, very good boy. <laughs> All the swears in Italian. You know what? What I noticed when I worked in... Um, in the early 90s, I had a lot of very... Very, very, very low paid jobs. Well, I think it was going through a recession or something, and um, all I got was just crappy, horrible, menial, dirty jobs. That's all I had. And I worked with a lot of, um, not, I don't know if they were refugees, but they were, they, they moved here from other countries all over the world. There's a lot of African um, people that I got really well with, and but it was funny because, like what Jade was, uh, Boston, they learned the swear words. I mean, to be fair, a lot of them had really good English anyway, but there was a lot of them were French, like they were African, but they spoke French. And I'm not sure what different which African countries are predominantly. French because I'm not that up in they did tell me but I couldn't understand it because they were talking French um, but it was funny I mean, one he's called Jason Jason and I used to get it was, his name is Guy I had a friend called Guy and he was French but African but French and um we did we did some um, play fighting. Now I should know from years ago, like before that. What's that on there? Don't play fight because it goes wrong. I would never do it now, but uh, we were just doing some because he did kung fu or karate, and I'd done karate in the past. So we were like punching and kicking and just messing around. But I ended up cutting his eye open, like just down there. I think it was probably just with my nail or something. It wasn't like a punch. We weren't punching each other. 
it was just it was accidental and his eye just like you know it's bleeding and stuff and he was left with a scar a skull right just right down there and I was like oh my god I just really lo it was such a lovely person and so gentle but it was full just having fun playing you know um, but there was another one called uh, what was his name not Oliver Tom, not Timothy I forget his name but we used to just get he used to wind me up and I'd wind him up all the time and we used to come to nearly come to blows like proper full on fights but we got on really well as well it was very strange we were almost like good friends but just used to wind each other <laughs> you know I'd, I'd annoy him and he'd annoy me and we'd just push each other and like oh but nothing ever happened it was just weird what was his name not Timothy I've got his, I, I, I remember what he looked like. Um, not Toby. I don't know. But he's, he was, I think, I'm not sure, I don't think he was French. He might have been. But he was African, he was from Africa, but I don't know. But he's, his English was really good. He's just perfect. Well, not as good as me. Benjamin? No, it wasn't Benjamin. Benjamin? It might have been Benjamin. There was this bloke, right, I'm going to leave because I have to go in a sec because I've used up my allotted time. Um, we were in this, <laughs> okay, we were, there was a, quite a few of us working in this place. And the I'm distracted by Jay writing on the screen. I can swear in Yiddish. I'm quite fascinated with the Yiddish terminology. Um, what's his name? The comedian, American comedian, but he was a Jewish. He was like the most famous Jewish comedian at the time. And he did all that Yiddish kind of chat and stuff. Um, oh, I'm just going to have to put his name in. Oh, wait a minute. I want to I wanna remember without Googling. Grayson, not Grayson. Mason. Jackie Mason. I didn't Google it. I had my hands free. Jackie Mason. And it is Jackie Mason, isn't it? So I know he, he died a little while ago. Yeah, blimey. It was, I knew it was recent. July 2021. Jackie Mason. Right. I'll tell you a story about Jackie Mason. Shecky Green is that another one, but Jackie. Jackie Mason, um, he was around in bloody, a blimey, blooming, he was around a long time ago, before we were born. Not everyone, but before, long before a lot of people were born, he was around doing comedy. And he got on a TV show, and it might have been Steve Allen, but it was the biggest like chat show at the time, late night chat, chat show. And I think something happened and Steve Allen thought that Jackie Mason was being rude to him. Like flipping him off, kind of like being rude, flipping off. Um, and, Steve, and Jackie Mason was blacklisted for years because of that. It's not the only comic that went through that. And then in probably the 70s or maybe 80s even, I don't know, 
he did his one man show. I used to have it on video actually. And he he became a huge hit. Oh Jackie Mason. Like Shaky Green, Shaky Green um, made it big long before Jackie Mason, didn't he? Shaky Green was I know I know a little bit more about my comedians. Shaky Green was I think he had albums and everything. I need to check this out now. Shaky Green. Shaky Green, because he's, he's um, still alive. He's 95 years old. 95. It might have been the Ed Sullivan show. I'm pretty sure he had some albums. But I might be wrong. Because in the, like, after the war, the Second World War, uh, especially like the early 50s there was a lot of coffee shops in London in London in America coffee shops and that's where people would perform so if you look at uh, the likes of Lenny Bruce um, I suppose George Carlin these people that became, you know, famous in like even the late 60s and then much more famous in the 70s and maybe even more famous in the 80s. Um, like Richard Pryor was around in the 60s. He, I don't know if he'd have been around in the 50s. reason is because you know he was he wasn't that old when he passed away he was born in 1940 see so yeah, he wouldn't have been around in the 50s he might have been around in the late 50s so he was pretty young when he started doing comedy so So he didn't. Nineteen sixty-three, according to this, nineteen sixty-three. Bearing in mind, Richard Pryor. His. He was the biggest. Uh, the highest-paid movie star in Hollywood. in the early 80s so 20 years after be you know kind of starting out um, regularly performing in clubs he was you know Superman 3 um, and all of the, all those movies that he did in the early 80s he was the highest paid uh, movie star there wasn't that he was the highest paid black movie no, he was the highest paid movie star, bar none, at that time. He broke records, he did. He did Stir Crazy in 1980. Um, yeah, 1983, he signed a five year contract worth 40 million. Uh, Superman 3, he earned 4 million. Which is probably more than Superman earned. I don't know if it's true or making it up, but it's possible. Brewster's Millions in 1985. I mean, some would say, mm, well, his best films. I love Brewster's Millions, personally. See No Evil, Hear No Evil. It's all good, but it's the earlier films that I liked. Him and Gene Wilder. I mean, no, I don't think anyone can argue that him and Gene Wilder, Wilder were just such a brilliant double act. Um, stir crazy. 
so G milder. Um, see no evil, hear no evil. What's the other one with G milder in? Yeah, that's weird. The weirds can approve that the Muppet will do the ghost. Stir crazy. Willy Wonka. He wasn't in Willy Wonka. I'm talking about um, Richard Pryor. Um, Richard Pryor and Gene. I forgot his name now. Silver Streak. That's it. They did three movies together. Silver Streak. I didn't realise Silver Streak was the first one. Silver Streak, Stir Crazy, and then they did See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Him and Jude Milder together. Whether they did more than that, I don't know. But I thought they definitely did those three. Huh. So his albums... Blimey. He did a lot of albums as well. Yeah, did three movies together. They was... See, the difference with Wilder is, I think, Gene Wilder was among the... Well, there's so many to be... It's a stupid sentence, really, isn't it? Saying that someone's the best, the best comedy actor. There can't be a best comedy actor. There's been thousands and thousands of comedy actors. And hundreds of brilliant ones over the years, over the last hundred years or whatever, 120 years of television, or movies rather, so it's really d difficult to sort of say, well, you know, Gene Wilder's the best, but to me he's one of the best. But that's just personal preference, isn't it? I mean, I think Bill Murray in What About Bob? <laughs> I love that film because the way he plays it just cracks me up. You're just so oblivious, almost. Just, I don't know. Um, I'll tell you one TV show, if you ever get a chance to watch it, it's on Netflix, I think. Mm. Excuse me. It's called Norsemen, or Norsemen, Norsemen. And it's very funny. It's a little bit disturbing at times, because the subject matter, because they're Vikings. But, funny the dialogue you know because you don't get you just don't get really good dialogue in a lot of films a lot of tv shows movies the dialogue is very stale and very almost sort of painted by numbers in a sense like it's, you know i'd say 50 percent of what i watch but if not higher is predictable like what's going to happen next i can predict it when I can't predict it, and when I'm, when I'm surprised, I appreciate that so much. When I don't see something coming, when I don't know it's going to happen, like there's no, there's no obvious, there's no flagging of it, it's just don't, and suddenly something happens. And that's why I like Lost, when Lost was on, when I first saw, saw that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, just didn't see it coming. There's a few moments in that where I didn't see it. I just, wow. Um, I love stuff like that. I, anything where you just don't know it's gonna ha what's going to happen next. And unfortunately, I'd say the majority of films that I've watched 
quite predictable. And possibly it's just because I've seen so many movies over the last uh, 83 years I've been alive. So, hmm. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. There's only Boston left. Willy Wonka's left. Where are you going, Willy Wonka? What can you do? Right, I moved my desk earlier and it was so uncomfortable so I moved it back and it feels lush. Oh, it does feel really nice just to have it back where it should be. Mm. Yep. So I'm going to go. <coughs> Mm. Oh, I'm so tired. Thank you for listening. Remember, thank you for watching as well, if you've been watching. Boston and Jade. And that's about it. There's hardly anyone else been watching that I can see on the screen anyway. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Do something really really nice for yourself. Treat yourself. Lots of love.